What's going on everyone? Today we're going to show you how Milwaukee's tool warranty actually works. And most of their tools come with a five year warranty. I had a drill that would not open the chuck up. It wouldn't close the chuck. I couldn't get the bit out of it. Um, when you when you put it in you know, any type of forward or backwards and, and uh, it started clicking, then it would you could literally watch metal shavings just fall out of this thing. So I took it upon myself, I watched some videos, and out of all the videos I watched, I never seen one video showing exactly how this worked. Um, they just hit on a subject pretty much of it, showed you the website, and then boom, that was it. Well, we're gonna take it a step further. We're gonna show you exactly how to do this so you have no questions. All right, guys, we're going to make this painless and easy as pie. So when you type in milwaukeetool.com, you get to their main page. Now, of course, this is not the main page, but this is what you're going to do. You're just going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and you're going to click on E service repair. Once you do that, it's going to bring you to this page right here. This page is going to tell you uh, if E service is right for you. Now, this just tells you the terms and conditions, the warranty, uh, the safety policy, battery shipments, how to package your package. So read this and then accept. Go to continue. Once you do this, it's going to tell you that uh, it's going to ask you for, you know, hey, let's, let's remove this right here. All right, so we're going to add a tool. Now, in this case, our hammer drill, the tool is a 2704-20. If Let's say you have a med uh, or a high torque impact. It's going to be 2767-20. So we're going to type in the 2704-20. We're going to search, then it's going to come up. It's going to give us our product we're trying to do here. And then we are not going to include any batteries, so no on that. Now, this is still under warranty. And uh, how you're going to find out if your product is still under warranty is you're going to have a serial number. Now, in our case, our serial number is G73AD1526. 12077. So here's our number here. And uh, what you do is once you type this in, after more than likely, after how it works is after your uh, last letter, then the numbers start. The first four numbers is what you want to look at. In our case, the first four numbers is 1526. This means our tool was manufactured the 26th week of 2015. Therefore, it has a five year warranty and that warranty is good till the 26th week of 2020. So yes, we are still within the product period. Now, it's gonna ask you your problem description here. Bit stuck, uh, won't hold a chuck, our gear case is slipping and we're not gonna be including side handles, ticks, uh, batteries, chargers, anything like that. So we are done adding tools. Now we have our number of packages is going to be one, our name, address, filled out, personal information. You're going to put in your personal information here and we will do this real quick. And we will just enter a Phone number, then we got to do the same thing here. <clears throat> Preferred contact method, cell phone, continue. All right, so here is our product. Now, so is it within the product period? Yes, here's the serial number. Here's the issue we're having with it the shipping, shipping information, and our personal information. So we submit, 
then we get an order confirmation. Now, <clears throat> once we do this, we're going to print a shipping label and then uh, it's going to print off two pages of this. So uh, you're going to print the shipping label and documents. You're going to copy or print two pages of this right here. And then once you do that, it's going to tell you that what you need to do to ship this off. Uh, so it gives you instructions on the paper to include one copy of this sheet right here. You include that with the package and then you keep one for yourself and then the shipping label you put on the box that you're sending it in and you ship it off. Easy peasy cake. Don't get any simpler than that. So this I hope helps somebody the next time they go to repair or send off for a Milwaukee tool warranty. So let's get back into the video. So now that you know exactly how the warranty works and how to fill everything out, we're gonna open this, we're gonna tell you, uh, so once again, um, <clears throat> I got this back today, February the 9th. I shipped this off, I believe it was the 29th of January. They received it the 31st of January. Uh, then they shipped it back out the 7th of February, uh, Friday. Um, and I got it today, the 9th of February. Uh, pretty sure today's the 9th. Yes. Okay. So I got it today, the 9th of February. So we're going to open this up. We're going to see exactly uh, what it happened, if they fixed it. This tool was literally right at five years old. The warranty had maybe eight more weeks left on it. But uh, so let's open it up and see what happens. All right, got our knife here, put it into this thing. <clears throat> so, got some bubble wrap. <clears throat> then we got a thing of who it was sewed to. Uh, the service packing slip here shipped to so this is a totally different slip than what I sent back But it tells everything they did so the repair request was under warranty um, <clears throat> It was a 2704 so uh, 2704 dash 20 yep 2704-20 and uh, it looks like they description motor field and electronic assembly they replaced switch intermediate performance not continuous or steady uh, the gearbox assembly the motor rotor assembly the chuck and uh, then their shop supplies and stuff of that nature but uh so it looks like they probably replaced it looks like they replaced every bit of this whole section from here all the way up So it looks like they literally replaced everything from here. Let me get closer to the camera here. Uh, you can tell this thing was beat to death. I mean, this thing is rough. It has been used. And so it looks like they replaced this and all of this. So we got new, new chuck and everything in here and uh, everything functions properly, properly. And uh, so, yeah. <clears throat> so there you go we we got it back and they replaced everything so uh hey can't beat that we pretty much got a uh, new tool again and you know hey except for the casing who cares about the casing it's going to get used anyway right so uh milwaukee props off to you because i can honestly say i was kind of worried about how this was going to turn out seeing as though i didn't have a receipt or anything for the purchase of this and uh but they made it very simple um so guys if you're looking to replace one of your tools that have this five-year warranty send it with confidence and know that uh milwaukee is more than likely going to take very good care of you so this is just a uh, one reason why i love milwaukee tools and i'm glad that i got to use the service and see exactly what other people go through so it does work. The drill looks new other than the casing, which I mean, everything else they replaced. So it's 
apparently going to work. And uh, hey, I'm happy. Couldn't be happier. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, comment down below. Let me know. I hope this video helps you with the return of your product if you have any issues. And uh, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one.